Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over how to resize your document. So I have this document I have made, uh, if you like it, it's on my Redbubble store. It is uh, Van Gogh Sunflowers with uh, another post-impressionist era artist's uh, painting of a prostitute put on the flowers. Uh, just something fun. But uh, to get back to resizing your document, you're going to bring up your document, and you're going to come here to document, resize document, and a dialog box will come down. As you can see right now, it's at 550 by 684 pixels. And if I were to change this to say 1000, you can see that the uh, width and length match up to the proportions that are currently on my picture. If you didn't want this, you can unlock it and then change it without, but if you relock it, it'll readjust. You can also change the units from pixels to points, inches, feet, yards, millimeters, centimeters, and meters for different things like printing out on different size prints. And the next is the DPI level. So say uh, I change to inches, and right now it's 13 inches by 17 inches. And I change this to 300. If I go back to pixels, it will then readjust what pixels I need to have a proper DPI. Um, if you do not want to change uh, the size of your document, but change the DPI, you can unselect resample and change it without constraints. Uh, resample is quite useful for changing sharpness of your image. Uh, the only time I would recommend it nearest neighbor is if you're working in pixel art or something that is intentionally supposed to be pixelated. Um, for most art, you should be good with bicubic and bilinear, but if you want something more sharp, you can use Lansos uh, up here. I wouldn't really, really wouldn't recommend these two. Uh, they really add sharp lines and can add a sort of halo effect to some of your work. So. That is the resize uh, option in Affinity Photo. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer tutorials. And if you like this print, you can get it on a t-shirt at my Redbubble store in the link below. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more videos.